Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the standard form of a linear equation. Standard form usually means it's written at like ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all integers, and usually a is not negative. We usually don't lead with a negative. They're also usually mutually prime, which means that the simplest form of standard form, you don't have a GCF. In other words, if we had 3x plus 6y equals 12, this is not considered to be uh, standard form because we can divide out a 3 by everything. So if we were to divide out a 3 out of all, out of everything, we would get x plus 2y equals 4, and this is considered standard form. So again, standard form, ax plus by equals c. One thing that I tell my students is that we have a very specific order. We have the x term, we have the y term, we have an equal sign, and then we have a constant term. So as long as there are integers, meaning there's no fractions or decimals, and we cannot divide anything out of all of them, and we don't start with a minus sign here, then we're in standard form. So let's try a few examples. How about this? How about something in slope-intercept form? y equals 3x minus 7. To get this into standard form, obviously this x term is in the wrong spot. So we're going to subtract 3x from both the left and the right. And when we subtract 3x from the left, we're going to try to put it in the right order. So we're going to have a negative 3x plus y equals negative 7. You may say this looks like standard form, but a lot of times people don't like that minus sign there. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually divide out by a negative 1. And we divide everything by a negative 1 to get rid of that minus sign. So this term will become 3x minus y equals positive 7. And this is standard form. Let's try another example. How about 1 half y plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. Now this is going to need some work. Again, the order should be the x term, the y term, the equal sign, and the constant. So for starters, the constant is in the wrong spot. So why don't we add 3 to both sides of the equation? And we're left with 1 half y plus 5x equals 3. The x and the y term are in the wrong spot, so we can just switch those. 5x plus 1 half y equals 3. And the reason why we could just switch those around is because of the commutative property of addition. Now, unfortunately, we actually have uh, a fraction here. And we're not really supposed to have fractions as a coefficient, not for standard form. So to get rid of the fraction 1 half, we can multiply by the denominator. So we can actually multiply everything by 2. I'm going to multiply all three terms by 2. And here, the 2's are going to cancel out. So I'm left with 10x plus y equals 6. And this is standard form. Hope that was helpful.